All right, here's another breakdown video of a fight. This is one that I hear about a lot, but I've never really had any trouble with it, and I just don't know why people do. So here's another explanation and showing a small punch up of about, what, 24K? Or no, 34K, sorry. Uh, from 424 Fantastic Fortron versus the 458 Blob Rodders. The reason I use this team is because F Fortron is exactly the team I would use if Blob wasn't here. If it was Sabretooth, if it was Zemo, if it was Shrax. I mean, there's a lot of stupid fifths out there for Marauders that people try. And none of it really makes them any particularly better in my opinion uh, i think the best defense for marauders is just having a full marauder team that's absolutely stacked to the teeth with red stars and uh just hope you strife doesn't die but in this case strife's not that huge he's only 78k blob isn't huge he's like i think it was 68k um I just, I don't see how people are losing to this because this team just doesn't have much damage. Uh, you'll see here, uh, I did switch out uh, Human Torch for Ultron. So that's the first thing to know. Uh, when you're fighting Marauders with F4, uh, unless you have a really, really good Red Star reason, you should swap Torch for Thing. Um, or you know, leave out Torch instead of Thing. That's why I previously done because I had way better red stars on Torch, but I recently pulled a five red on Thing, and so now he's actually right up there with the rest of my team and is much stronger than the three red stars he was before. So with Ultron though, you're just keeping him alive, letting him do most of the work. Um, Namor does a lot with his ult, but after that he doesn't really do much. So you can see here, even with the defense down, uh, we do have Hanger though, so the deflect is there, which is nice. Um, so you'll see here, uh, then <laughs> there's the Mystique ult goes and hits Mr. Fantastic, and he almost dies. Uh, but those deflects help keep him alive. And here we go with the Namor ult offense step. And we'll see how much does it actually remove. So you'll see, um, they did land three crits, so they did not have the deflects up there, but you can see the deflects were on Sinister and Stripe, so they did not get the vulnerability from the crits because the crit negates, uh, or I'm sorry, the deflects negate critical damage, and so they don't get the uh, vulnerabilities. But it removed a ton of buffs there, not all of them, but most of them. And now we'll do the Invisible Woman ult to give everybody a shield, hopefully keep Mr. Fantastic alive for a little bit. Um, and you can see there, not all of the uh, offense down stuck, but that's okay. So right now we got stacks of strife, or we got stacks of deflects on strife, and we've already removed this taunt. He has not re-taunted yet because we haven't gotten anyone below half health yet. But you'll see here, I take, I opt, and I do this every time when I fight this team. I think this is key. I opt to hit Blob with the uh, Mr. Fantastic ult. And with offense up and get the assist from his passive from somebody, I believe it's Thing here. And this does so much damage to Blob because Blob doesn't get deflects, he gives deflects, right? So you can see he's almost dead and he doesn't have any heals coming soon. So another thing is the reason why we bring Thing is his special hits multiple times and then he gets the assist. So we're trying to get some of those deflects down on Stripe so that we can do more damage with Ultron and other characters. Uh, we just want to keep managing those deflects as best we can. And you can see here, Thing hits a couple of times. Invisible Woman decides to attack. Uh, she applies the uh, vulnerability because she is a skirmisher and then Thing follows it up with his striker attack, which removes another deflect. So I think the ISOs really help with this in particular because it just clears deflects so quickly. You can see Stripe is pretty low, but he's going to get some more deflects because my Ultron bots are going. I don't have any way of taking out Blob right now, but you can see there my Ultron, uh, even though he's only ISO 3 striker and he's got the offense up um, in tier 14, he did a ton of damage even through those deflects, and that's that's key. And so now we're going to get the uh, Sinister ult. Now, if Sinister does clone an Ultron or an Invisible Woman, yeah, that can be pretty rough and it could could take a while to kill them but that's 
part of the key since blob is you know super easy to kill because he doesn't have any defenses really he doesn't have any deflects here he doesn't have defense up toad's not here to give him defense up on on his first attack uh so you know he's almost dead um and as long as we don't lose ultron uh we should be fine um, they can kill whoever else, but as long as Ultron's still there, he's going to keep um, he's going to keep manipulating the fight, keep damaging people. And as you can see there, his bot uh, reduced turn meter on Sinister. The reason I do that is just to prevent him from using a special sooner rather than later. Uh, if he does, you know it's not a big deal. You just got to go through it. Uh, Namor was blind there, so I opted to just waste his basic on that attack. Be careful though with those because if there is like uh, somebody that gains uh, turn meter from uh, getting attacked like a Juggernaut or a Pyro, you don't want to be accidentally wasting blind hits into them and giving them turn meter. Um, although we never see those guys on Marauders anymore. All right, so here I opt to go for Mystique since we've got Sinister stunned from the Mr. Fantastic special. Uh, I figure we might as well just focus down Mystique first instead. And so we're just gonna go for her. Um, and then we'll slow Sinister and just keep locking him as much as we can. And from here, we want to hit right in the middle and let that Namor special hit a whole bunch of times. And then we'll keep on going here. So Mr. Fantastic, he uh, calls in an assist. And uh, he is actually a skirmisher on my team. He doesn't do a whole lot of damage, so I think it makes sense to make him a skirmisher. Um, and then if he does assist anyone else on the Fantastic Four team like Thing or um, Torch, if he were here. Now you get that triple tap where, you know, one hits, the other one assists, applies skirmish or uh, vulnerability, and then the other one uh, follows up with another attack. Now you can see here, I couldn't control turn meter quite enough to prevent the special from Sinister, but you can see it didn't really make a difference. I was able to knock off Mystique because she didn't have any death proofs. Uh, and it just, and she didn't have any deflects either, um, right? Because those ran out a while ago. <laughs> and now we just clean up. At this point, if you still have two minutes plus, you should be fine. If you do not, you should put it on auto and target Sinister first, uh, then the clone if he's not dead, and then Emma. Um, you can leave the clone up if you want and kill Emma, and then if you time out while trying to kill the clone but you don't quite finish them, you'll actually win the fight in Alliance War, and the enemy will be gone because you can't, um, if you're on defense, you can't uh, hold a room if all you have left is summoned or cloned creatures in, in the room. So as long as you kill all the five original characters um, that were there on defense, you do, in fact... Um, win the fight at the end even though it shows you both lost all five people <laughs> all right so we're just mashing away on emma here really not too bad at all and this is just a small punch up of like 35k nothing huge nothing insane um but you can see here this fight is still just as easy as if blob wasn't there and so for me it's just it's so obvious to say well yeah there's no point in putting blob on this team put him on brotherhood too because him and toad work really well together and they work really well with magneto and the rest of brotherhood so it just it just makes so much more sense to to ditch this sort of weird hybrid team i, I just don't know why you would put blob in there only for deflex maybe if strife was a lot bigger this would have been tougher i still feel like strife could have been 100k and it wouldn't have made much of a difference at all maybe i would have had to attack him a couple more times before he dies but uh, he's going to die right he's going to get taken out and then even if i lost this match it's one more match to clean it up but that's not too bad so anyway it's a fairly easy fight uh fairly straightforward kill strife then focus blob um and then either Mystique or Sinister. It just kind of depends on what buffs are out there and where you are in the turn order. Uh, but you can feel that out once you get there. Um, if you've got a five on three advantage at that point, it probably doesn't matter which way you go. But I would recommend killing the Mystique first just because she's kind of annoying. But either way, no big deal. Uh, fairly simple fight. If you have any questions about it, let me know. If you run into this and you just can't beat it, and there's, or you got somebody other than Blob in there, well, let me know. I'd be curious to try it myself sometime and see how it is. But otherwise, y'all have a good night. I'll see you later.